All right, so the one thing I didn't show you, it does come with a set of a set of shears for cutting your bandages and gauze and so on and so forth with. So, not a bad kit for the money. Uh, available at, uh, at the uh, Pathfinder store right now. I did check it before I did this video, and uh, they do have them in stock. So, I don't know how many they've got in stock, because I, I actually don't call into those meetings. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Mainly because I'm usually on the road when the meetings are going on, so I don't know what's in stock and what's not in stock. So, anyway, uh, I think it's forty-four dollars ninety-five cents. So call it forty-five dollars. Uh, but with the uh, sales I've got going on right now, I'm sure it's cheaper now. So, uh, link is in the description box to my suggested gear. This is not on my suggested gear page yet, but if you go to my suggested gear page and then up in the search box, uh, type Pathfinder IFAC, I F A K. India Foxtrot Alpha Kilo. Uh, it'll take you to that, and you can go uh, take a look at it. Decide for yourself. It's a, I think it's a good kit. Uh, I would probably add some more gauze in here. Uh, I'd probably replace those shears with something like a Leatherman Raptor or something along those lines. Uh, but we'll see how this builds out. Uh, I'm going to build out a, a new kit based on the new Pathfinder uh, backpack. Uh, which I have been using one of the prototypes for the last several months. Uh, but Sean and Dave were actually cornering the video market on that, so I didn't pipe in on it very much. So, anyway, uh, look for the new kit build out and uh, go get yourself a kit or get one for somebody for Christmas. Talk to you all later. Bye. All right, first of all, uh, the bag this comes in. This is pretty much your standard uh, Molly bag. Uh, the back here, this actually, this back plate actually attaches to your pack or whatever if you want it to. But then when you want to deploy the, uh, the uh, first aid kit, you don't actually have to take all that Molly webbing off. This actually stays with your bag. And you're free to take the uh, IFAC itself off and go wherever you need to go. All right, it does have some Molly webbing on the front, so you could attach uh, auxiliary pouches or whatever you could or whatever you wanted if you wanted to. Uh, personally, uh, one bag on on another bag is. Is enough for me so if I attach this to my backpack which I'm actually planning on doing this is practically pro probably going to attach to the uh, new Pathfinder pack that I have so I probably won't be doing a bag on a bag kind of thing uh, anyway what comes in this is a splint this is a rolled splint so you can use it for several different applications Standard elastic bag, the crepe bandage. Uh, what they're calling an emergency bandage is just a dressing. Uh, cat tourniquet. This is an ink pen to actually uh, do whatever you need to write, or write down whatever you need to write down, and so on and so forth. It's also got a glass breaker on the end. Standard first aid dressing, gauze. A triangle bandage. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I haven't had any of this stuff out of the pack yet. Uh, the one in the prototype that I was using was actually a little bit different than this one. So, uh, it's just your standard triangle bandage. So whatever you use the triangle bandage for, you can use it for a, uh, a sling or over the head bandage, whatever, whatever you needed to do. Got one of those little Mylar emergency blankets in it. This one's actually quite a bit heavier than the ones you buy at Walmart. So... It's actually a pretty good, pretty good weight. A burn dressing. Then up here in the lid, there's a little net pouch. It has 
two rolls of uh, bandaging tape, some uh, rubber gloves, or I'm assuming those are probably neoprene, two sets of those, and some alcohol prep pads to do clean up before and after the wound and so on and so forth. Uh, basically what this has got in it is really what we need most of the time out in the field. Uh, a lot of first aid kits go way overboard for things that we are never going to use at our level out in the field. So this thing addresses uh, the normal breaks and strains kind of thing and uh, wound care. And uh, that's really actually what we need in the field. So reset the camera one more time and I'll be right back with you. All right, so in tonight's video, I want to talk to you about a new product that uh, Pathfinder just came out with not too long. It released last month, I believe it was. And uh, I've actually been playing with one of the prototypes of the new Pathfinder uh, individual first aid kit, uh, IFAC for short, uh, for the past few months now. Uh, the only difference in the prototype I've been playing with and the new one, uh, my prototype was actually came in a black bag. Uh, the new one, the actual production one comes in a coyote bag. And uh, I have no idea if they're planning on doing this in a different color bag or anything like that later. But I just want to go over the contents with you and uh, show you what all comes in it. So with uh, no further ado, I will reset up the camera. 